scrolling through Facebook and I saw a recipe I'm going to try out. I've never made it before, but inside story is I bought, hold on just a second. I bought these uh, sugar bee apples. I first bought these in 2017. They are my all time favorite apple. Um, you can't grow these yourself. I do have like eight varieties of apples growing on my property, but you can't grow these uh, and won't be able to for some time because it's a new variety. But it's literally one of my favorites. Very sweet. Anyways, long story short, got cancer, had to have all my teeth pulled and run into these now in 2022 and grab two bags of them and I can't eat them even though I have dentures. Uh, even if I cut them into small pieces, they are too hard for me to eat, but they still have an amazing taste. So, I don't want them to go to waste, and I was going to make some apple fritters out of them, but I decided to try this recipe. It's basically an apple cake. It requires four eggs, um, two halves of an apple peeled and cored, melted butter, sugar and baking powder, flour, milk, and powdered sugar. And basically you start by peeling the apples and coring them and cutting it into pieces. And when I get that done, I'll bring it back and we'll just get this mixed up and see how it turns out. Somewhere I actually have an apple corer, but I am too lazy to try to find it. So we'll just do this the old fashioned way. You can actually use a potato peeler too. I'll just tell you right now if you want a really fast way to do this but I'll just do it like this because I've got a knife and it won't take that long I don't think All right, so over here we've got, this is the sugar and the baking powder at the eggs of that. Add the butter. Add the milk. Add the flour. Add the apples. Next, you want to take a baking dish and butter the bottom of it. And into the oven, 350 degrees. After you move it from the oven, you go ahead and put powdered sugar on it. And 
and you can go ahead and cut it. Hope you enjoy.